All right, so in this Android Studio tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a saved instance state. And essentially what this does, it saves the data that you've entered on the screen and makes sure that when you rotate the screen and it destroys the activity, that it will safely be restored. So you don't have to worry about those uh, increments that just disappear out of nowhere. And if you're new to development, this is gonna be a very basic problem, such as what you see on the screen right now. You increment the number, but as soon as you rotate the screen, it disappears. But uh, let's get started immediately by going to our activity main XML. And here I created a relative layout in which I inserted a text view with an ID of TV underscore increments, set the text to zero, and finally set the text size to 70SP so you can actually see it. Then we go to our main activity Kotlin file, and we're gonna create a variable called increment number, and we're gonna assign this to zero. Then we're gonna create an onset click listener for a TV underscore increment, and we're gonna increment the number by one each time by doing plus plus increment number and we're gonna set this TV increment dot text to increment number to string so we can display. Then we're gonna go ahead and override on saved instance state where we're gonna create another value of use number which is gonna take our increment number and we're gonna type in out state dot put int and we're gonna assign it a key which I called saved int and we're gonna insert our increment number. And then after that we're gonna create an on restored instance state and we're gonna write another value which is called user int and it's gonna take our saved instance state and it's gonna get the int from the key we've assigned earlier with the default value of zero. And we're gonna assign the increment number to this user int. And finally, we're gonna assign the TV increment dot text view and uh, assign it to the newly saved increment number, uh, the newly restored increment number and assign it to string. And now you'll see that it actually saves your number upon screen rotation. And this works for booleans, it works for floats, doubles, uh, edit texts and uh, essentially any primitive value is this is a great place to do it and of course there are many other ways the new uh, jetpack development package now has uh, these life cycle kind of components that make this a lot easier but for the very very basic applications I'm sure this is absolutely fine I'd prefer to use shared preferences because that just gives you a really nice overview of uh, the entire app and uh, shared preferences I find a bit easier to use than this a little bit more easier to control but otherwise, other than that, I would definitely look into the new Jetpack components because there is so much to learn in Android development and this is the very, very basic way to save data on screen orientation changes. But other than that, that's essentially all there is to saved instance state and I'll see you in another video.